number state capture inquiry, Basos have bribed for every tender it received, a grizzy. Facilities management company Basos have bribed officials and politicians for every tender that it was awarded, the Zondo Commission heard. Dot former Basasaku Angelo Agrizzi concluded his evidence at the inquiry on Friday. Dot he told the commission that the bribery scheme applied by Basasa in order to secure numerous government contracts operated for 13 years. Dot he said as far as he can remember, he started being aware of bribery in 2004 or 2005, and this went on until he left the company in 2016. Dada Grizzly admitted when he first appeared at the inquiry and through his evidence that he was intricately involved in the corruption untaken by the facilities management company. Dot Vasasa is now known as African Global Operations. Dot he told the commission that Vasasa CEO Gavin Watson was behind the company's decisions to bribe officials. However, Watson made sure that his name appeared nowhere in the paper trail. Other Vasasa witnesses also corroborated this view. Dada Grizzly said about 38 government officials and politicians were on Vasasa's payroll. Doc the company won over R2 billion in tenders over the years, and it paid about R70 million in bribes. Doc the most crucial tenders awarded to the company involved the Department of Correctional Services, the Justice Department, the Department of Homes Affairs and Airports Company South African. Dot officials in all these departments received bribes, a grizzly alleged. Dot Vasasa also allegedly bought its influence through donations. The ink was placed at the center of Grizzy's evidence when he revealed that the party received around R12 million from Vasasa. Dottie said this donation was presented to the Yang's top six, but he could not remember the exact date. He clarified his previous statement which alluded to the fact that payment was made to individual top six members. Dot I said R10 million, but I can't remember if it was R10 or R8 million. But I do remember the check. A delegation from Basasa went to hand over the check. We had to make sure that the money was in the bank and it would clear. I remember in the meeting where the amount was discussed, it was a substantial amount. That amount would reflect in the bank statements of Basasa. It was a check directed to the Yank, said a Grizzly. Dot the Yank has since announced that it is applied to cross-examine a Grizzly regarding his claims. Dot individual Yank members were also mentioned by a Grizzly. He told the commission how Watson had pushed for the company to pay Parliament Chairperson Cedric Frolic R4000 a month. Dot the money was in an effort to change public perception, Watson wooed Frolic in an attempt to get closer to former Correctional Services Committee Chair Vincent Smith. Dot Smith at the time was against Basasa and thought very little of the company which was accused of corrupt dealings following the conclusion in 2009 of the Special Investigative Unit's report into the company. Dada Grizzly detailed two occasions where he witnessed Frolic being handed a security bag filled with money. Dot although Smith was reluctant to get involved with Basasa, he did change his mind. He too allegedly benefited from security upgrades to his home. Dot a second implicated ANC member is Environmental Affairs Minister Namkila Mokanian. A Grizzly said he witnessed Mokani and being handed R5000 which was also placed in a security bag. Dot Mokani and had also received security upgrades to her home in Kruger's home which was all funded by Basasa. Dot she was also influential in organizing that Basasa builds a war room for the Ang selection campaigns in 2014 and 2016. The war rooms came fitted with a call center and large screen displays which cost the company millions, a Grizzly said. Dot Mokanian has denied the claims made by a Grizzly and said she will appear at the inquiry to give her version. Dot Vasasa also often funded the Yank rallies, even providing food parcels for events. Dot a Grizzly expanded on his January testimony about former correctional services officials Patrick Gillingham and Lyndon Tai. Dottie explained that the two were well taken care of Basasa as Watson insisted that they be given everything they wanted. 
The company funded Gillingham's R2 million divorce. It paid him R110000 a month, and it built him a house and bought cars for his children. Dotentai also got a free house funded by Basasa and was also paid large sums of money monthly. A grizzly said he even had to pay from Tai's expensive Italian shoes. Dot the two held powerful positions and ensured that Vasasa was awarded correctional services tenders. Dot the inquiry resumes on Monday with more Vasasa witnesses expected to take the stand. Dot. Let it go.